Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. I'm sure you can spare me a few minutes. For old time's sake. Of course you may enter, Jonathan. So sorry for your loss, Jonathan. It's a pleasure to see you again, Venus. So you return from the war in one piece, too. Thank God. My Clarence is back home, too. How is the old rascal? Probably outside, chasing ghosts and chimeras. Clarence has changed a lot since he returned from the war, you know. How have you been since the last time we met? How long has it been? Three years now? I've done my duty, like all British women. You have no idea what it was like to wait for months without knowing if I'd still be a wife or a widow. I understand. Luckily, this part of town has been saved from the worst of the bombings, from what I've seen. Yes, and it's also true about the epidemic. The flu has killed here too, of course, but not on such a large scale as in other parts of town. Have you noticed anything peculiar about the neighbor? You mean except for your return to town? Thank you, Venus. It was so sudden, and I've been so busy, I haven't spoken to anyone about it. I wish I could have assisted at the funeral, but you know, it's been so quick. And what with the epidemic in the streets? There's no need to apologize, my dear. No, it's not. I am sure that Clarence has not even thought to present you his condolences. He... Why is my return so surprising? It's more an unexpected happy end than a surprise. You and Clarence... I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything? The McPhersons. I heard they locked themselves in their own house. They could just be afraid of getting sick. Perhaps you're right. Do you need my medical attention? No thanks, Jonathan. Goodbye. For I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son. You survived the Great War. You feared the worst. It's locked, all right. No invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be a good sign. No sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. Emily wanted to become a vampire. Something must have gone wrong. Someone is responsible blood. I should follow the trail. Thank you. 
Who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm the Marquis de bois Colomb, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I'm not here to sustain myself. I'm currently investigating the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. And who exactly? I am Jacques-Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois-Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Mm, so many countries. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? What he- I recently decided to visit London. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. What do you plan- Take pleasure? I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding good. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but... Uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? The body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun, until the artery burst. I believe you, sir. Emily's diary confirms your statement. Oh, Emily was her name. Quite charming. Well, mystery solved then. Yes, I suppose so. You can go. And so can you. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? I almost didn't recognize you, either. When... You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. I know... Of course. The epidemic. What is this? Well, I saw terrible things during. How is your wife? We've spent so much time away from each other. But you're alive. Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to. Is everything all right at home? Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation, now her husband has become the village idiot. I'm investigating the source of- Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the... the Milanies. Yes? 
What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. You need some rest. Women! Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure? To become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood. I should never have talked to Emily about them. I'm investigating the sort. A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family. Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been quite busy these last few nights. This be what I'm looking for. It's locked, all right.
fucking pathetic pig! such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. 